It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. So, Todd, we're going through descaling Agaja Academia. Yeah, that's a pretty important thing to do. And why is that? Well, there's a lot of small areas inside the boilers and other spots where minerals and calcium can build up. Mm -hmm. It's really important that, that doesn't happen. If that does, you'll be sending the machine in for service. Uh, it's going to cause a nightmare. So it's I like changing the oil in a car, right? I mean, it's very, very important. Yeah, and with well, that, it's usually simple because you have somebody else do it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not everybody, I know that. <laughs> yeah. So those that do, I don't mean to embarrass you or to insult you. Right. But uh, this is very easy to do. We're going to show you the process for doing it. It takes roughly an hour to do. But the uh, machine like takes it right through the whole thing. Yeah, tells exactly yeah the screen will walk you through everything so you can't make a mistake. We're just going to get it going and we'll show how it works. But there are a couple key things to know, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and a, a couple ways that you can really extend the time between descalings, mm -hmm. if you want. Yes. One thing we have... Uh, we, we have found that using the water filter, the Intenza Plus water filter, mm -hmm. really extends the amount of time between descaling. Maybe so, even as much as double, double. the yep. time, mm -hmm. right? And also, there's a water hardness setting in here, which we can show you, yeah. which we highly recommend that you set that where it's supposed to be. So water settings, mm -hmm. water hardness, and this one's set for two. Mm -hmm. So. Set there where it should be for your machine. The mm -hmm. machine came with a water hardness test strip, mm -hmm. so I use that. So it's one, two, three, or four. Really yeah. easy to do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, and, that, and that makes a big difference. I mean, depending on your water hardness, really affects the time you need. Yeah, because the mach descaling. machine will know from that when it tells you to, to descale. Right. And so it'll remind you so you can't forget. And scale is just that mineral buildup in, mm -hmm. the, in those little passages. Correct. So, okay. okay. So, now how without, do we do it? Without further ado. Yeah. We go where the gears are, push that, mm -hmm. send it down to maintenance settings, hit OK, go down to descale cycle. That shows there's 101 liters left before this one has to be descaled. We're going to go a little soon. Correct. And that's OK. Yeah. Start descale. Well, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the craft off, get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Also, pull this off, we'll get this out of the way. Yeah. You don't, don't really don't, want to run descaler through yeah, that. Yeah, you have a lot more pressure coming out of here, and it could back up. So, okay. that way. So we'll hit OK. Refill water tank with descaling solution. Okay. okay. Water tank is full already. Yep. And we've got the gauzer descaler here that's meant for use in this machine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And we have links to that in the video here on the description. So yep. you just pour that in pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so we did that, so we push OK. As you drip tray mm. placed under the brew group. Okay, we'll make sure the drip tray's that's empty. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to open the machine up. Make sure this drip tray's empty. There's mm -hmm. your dredge drawer. We don't really care too much about that, but this is already empty. Okay. So we'll hit OK. It's all good to go. Fill the craft halfway with fresh water, and then we'll put it back in. You nailed the halfway on that. Button. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. Hit OK. Push that over. Mm -hmm. Hit OK. So you have to have the craft yeah. over like that. And okay. move that over. It's going to run some water through there as well. Yep. We'll place a container under the spouts. Hit OK. So we've got a container there that can kind of catch from all three areas. Because it's going to run water through all three at some point. So now it starts. Now it starts. Now, now some of the hits during the process of, of all this, it's going to. It's going to tell you to refill the water reservoir. Mm -hmm. uh, do not fill the water reservoir while it's actually in the descaling cycle. So if you were to you know, go open this up and pour water in, wait till it tells you to do it. The, otherwise, it'll keep going through this, uh, the cycle over and over and over. It will not stop. The machine measures when it's out of water. It knows it. Mm -hmm. And then when you refill it, it starts the next step. If you keep adding water, it won't know that it ever ran out. Right, right. Okay. So now it's just a game of... 
it doing its thing here for, for a while, you'll get an update in the display mm -hmm. here. Yep. And you can, if you, if you want, you can pause it. Okay, so that's, so you can take your container, empty it, put it back. And then just uh, hit, then hit play again. the play button again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it'll run through the cycle. So we're not going to sit here and make an hour-long video about this. We're going to jump ahead quite a bit. Once the descaling process is started, you can pause it at any time by pressing the pause button. Pausing allows you to empty containers used to catch the descaling solution and rinsing water. If you have a container large enough to hold the entire volume of the machine's water reservoir, you can allow the process to run unattended. If using a smaller container, you'll need to empty it from time to time. After running through the descaling solution, you will be prompted to remove, rinse, and refill the water reservoir. It takes two to three refillings of the reservoir to completely rinse the machine. And as Todd mentioned, do not add rinse water to the reservoir until the machine tells you to do so. From time to time, the machine may prompt you to empty the internal drip tray. After rinsing is complete, the machine will heat up and do a short final rinse of the coffee spout with hot water. When that finishes, descaling is complete and the machine will return to a ready-to-use state. All right, so the descaling's all finished, Todd. What should people remember about descaling in general? You're going to have me for the things that we have to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, set your water hardness setting. You know, use, it, use the strip. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Get that set so you'll know when it's time to descale. It's, it's accurate. Uh, use the Gaja descaler. Mm -hmm. And the filter is always a good thing. The, oh. the Gaja intensive filter. And it's yeah. gonna. It, it's just, you don't have to use scale as much. Keep your machine cleaner inside. Yeah. Um, and then when you put your container on here, since you may be walking away when it's doing the descaling process, make sure you have one big enough right. that it won't overflow. And always wait for the machine to tell you to fill the reservoir before you fill it. Right. That's another thing. And when you're done, and you're putting your spouts back on, when you put them on, put it on so that they line up nice and smooth and flush across the front here. That's actually pretty important. Yeah. So do that. Mm -hmm. And when it tells you to empty the drip tray, there's a reminder, it doesn't mean the drip tray up front, it means the drip tray on the inside. Right. And we showed that a couple yep, times. Yeah, that one there. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's, uh, that's how you scale your Gaja Academia. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com.